Hey guys, Saurav here and I'm really happy to announce that I'll be doing a video tutorial series on getting started with Python in collaboration with Simple Snippets. I really thank Tanmay from Simple Snippets for reaching out and giving me this fantastic opportunity. So this series is aimed at people who are absolutely new to Python and want to start off with it in a moderately fast-paced yet hands-on style. Recently, the growth of Python has skyrocketed and is quickly claiming its ground as one of the most popular languages out there in 2019. It has vast, vast applications and is known for its readability, simplicity, and its short development cycles along with rapid prototyping. And for this very reason, countless startups and corporates are using Python to develop IT solutions. It is a general purpose, dynamically typed programming language and has captured multiple domains to itself, some of which include the ever famous data science and machine learning, deep learning, scientific calculations, web frameworks, and automation. So, why is Python so famous? Well, some of the reasons why so is because one, it has a really elegant syntax which is very human readable. It also has a lot of batteries included and offers a lot of very handy inbuilt functionalities. It also has one of the best communities I've seen till date which contribute to its huge collection of open source third party libraries. Also it can run anywhere. From different OSs to different hardware, you name it and Python can run. Recent statistics show that it is quickly becoming the most popular language and also the number of job openings for Python developers has increased significantly over the last few years. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump right into Python and this tutorial series and begin installing Python and writing our first Hello World program. For installing Python, you would need to visit python.org and from there you will be able to download the Python version of choice. Currently there are two major versions in use, Python 2 and Python 3. I'll be downloading the latest version of Python which is Python 3.7. And I would recommend you to do the same. This would download the installer and when that is done, you can open it up and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. But please do note that if you are on Windows, please do not forget to check the box where it says add Python to path. After the installation is complete, you can go ahead and open your command prompt or PowerShell if you're on Windows. However, if you're on Linux or Mac OS, you can open up the terminal app. Once inside, we can quickly test out if our Python installation was successful by typing out Python in the prompt. So as we can see, the Python shell opens up and the version over here is 3.7.1. This Python shell is a interactive REPL or read eval print loop where you can execute Python code line by line. Let us now write a hello world program using the print function like so. So we get the output of the above line immediately after we hit enter. We can try out some more print statements one after the other. This is the use of the Python shell. It acts as a quick start to test out small Python scripts without the need to write code to a separate file and then execute that. Obviously, we can still do that. We can also write Python code in a .py file and then execute that. To do that, open up any editor of your choice and over here, I'll be using Sublime Text. Make a new file and then save it as hello.py. Now we can write some Python code in here. Save the file and bring up your terminal again. I will quit the Python shell for now. And once we are back to the terminal prompt, we can specify what file to execute after the Python keyword. Since my hello.py file is in the current directory, I can simply type the name over here. But do keep in mind that otherwise, you'd need to specify the relative or full path of your Python file here. 
when we hit enter we see that we get the intended output so that brings our hello world program to an end as well as this video in the next video we will be learning all about the python data types their usage and their functionality so thanks for watching folks if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel as well as thumbnails